bro, because he's just he's just insane. Welcome back to part three. Um, we are seeing now. Um, set, I'm just gonna say, STC versus oh, Sanity, sorry. Uh, just gonna be uh, going in for a kill. Now, Potom is gonna be scouting with these uh, illusions. I do see a demon, demon edge, sorry, on her right now. So, I don't know what that is gonna be turning into, but uh, undoubtedly gonna be. Do I do I hear a monkey king bar in the, in the background? Or, or are we gonna see a Mjolnir? Sorry, not a Mjolnir. Uh, not a Mjolnir. What am I talking about? Um, I can't say divine. Oh, shackle shot does in fact go and pop and pop and there goes the shackle, not and shackle power and then shackle. We do see a stun multicast does go down and Satan does in fact claim Kranich. No, sorry, Satan in fact claiming Kranich and Kranich's uh, unstoppable streak now getting getting severely punished uh, or severely taken. Sorry, by the uh, by the Sentinel team. Uh, Lich is now here in smoke. Uh, don't really know what sh what what is going on. Also, Vengeful is in smoke, trying to take down this Morphling. I think just just staying out here. Do you think that Morphling is aware of what is going on? No, apparently not. Perfect way for him. Uh, almost avoiding the uh, stun. We do see now a follow up stun, and there comes the Lich ultimate. Uh, I would love to see that maybe a bit uh, a bit early or uh, later. Sorry, so you could uh, hit it with both the. Uh, of course, the uh, clockwork and the uh, winner. We do see now once again these power shots have not been. Um, I wouldn't call the greatest. We do see now Lich getting claimed by a double multicast and the hook from clockwork. Vengeful also taking the damage, and there it goes. Um, think that uh, Alchemist does in fact have to care, but look at this Magina just ripping through this Ogre Mega, and he's going to take this, some serious damage down. He goes Tux now has a Mega Kill, and Clockwork not really going to be able to do anything against this Mana Burn. Mana Burn, extremely powerful uh, passive ability. And look at this, he's not taking any type of damage. He's just pounding on through, and he does in fact have the Battle Fury. So, uh, he does have the region to just keep on going. Now, uh, Potom is going to be uh, accompanying on the top lane. We do see now Power Shot going on top, but Winner are not going to be able to uh, be strong enough. We do see an arrow just fly on top, but not hitting anything. Um, and yeah, so Tullux is looking really strong, and uh, Kranich is also looking really strong. I don't know what he's going to opt to go for after that pretty fast battle fury. And I, I saw a guy on the Ghost of Gamers website going like, Oh, Vanguard battle fury, or is it uh, Vladimir's battle fury? That's so outdated, you can't use that in a clan war. Apparently you can. Um, not that I'm going to go into the mechanics and like all, all, all the goodness that you guys like, but I'm not going to go into that. We do see now, if, in fact, some goody goodness on the top lane. Look at this, Tullus can take some serious damage. Deciding just to blink out of there as fast as he can. We do see now, look at this, not taking any... Look at that, he can just take so much damage. Power shot not going to be enough. He's going to have that spell reduction uh, up, and that's going to allow him to survive this gank. Look at this. Wow. And of course the region helping out a lot. Uh, Battle Fury, of course, uh, very vital. You need the... Uh, of course, the uh, mana region, but then again, you do need the, do need the health region, and there, look at that, Vengeful just dropping straight away with that double multicast. We do see now Clockwork jumping with a hook shot, does have the uh, scepter, I think. Yes, he does, and uh, that is going to allow him to be extremely mobile and agile because he's going to be able to. Uh, the cooldown and North Star, the cooldown, he's going to be able to uh, just jump around with his hook, uh, and. Uh, Except for allowing him to do so, just a bit of lag there on the spot, or, or a bit of spikes on the stream or on the uh, recording. I do apologize. Uh, just, it just occurred to me. Uh, so yeah. Now Tolux is is growing extremely, extremely powerful. They do need to shut him down. Um, he's uh, they're at twenty four to twenty, so they're pretty uh, pretty close. But this Magina has just. Has just been out farming pretty much anybody. 150 in how many minutes? 30 minutes almost. Uh, that's pretty decent. Uh, I wouldn't say that's insanely good, but that's pretty good. That is pretty fair to say. Now we do see a tier one tower here on the sorry tier two tower now getting cleaned on the top lane, and um, they're just going to retreat themselves. Ogre Maggie uh, is going to retreat, and also with the clockwork, going to be uh, going to be hitting into the mid lane. I guess talks now. I don't really know what he's going to be aiming for, and I don't know why I'm spiking like this, but apparently I'm just am. Chemical Rage now has been popped. We do see a waveform, not really, uh, not going to be enough, though, to take down this, uh, this alchemist. He is looking at a lot of region. 
Oh my god. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, those spikes. Oh. I do apologize. Uh, wow, that is insane. Just now realize it, guys. I do apologize. Shit. Telex now on a double damage room. Ooh, and my mobile phone is going nuts. I have friends, apparently. Vengeful now going to be up on the top lane, and uh, Dizzy now also. Crystal Maiden and Ogre is going to be hitting. Is are going to be hitting, sorry, is not. They are going to be hitting onto the top lane. I think they need to get themselves back, and Alchemist is also going to be on that top lane. So pretty much anybody, uh, everybody's just going on to that top lane. And especially Scourge, of course, having a severe interest in taking down this tier 1 tower. The only one still standing. Um, He's gonna be able to take this down pretty fast, having some serious damage on uh, on the back of Tullox, of course, and together with the Palm having the uh, Demon Edge and Yasha. But yeah, we do see now face boots. We do all, we're almost gonna be seeing um, a Gwinsu of of the Gwinsu Sky of the device on top of Windburner. Gonna be huge in the team fights. Can disable, can shut down pretty much any type of hero. Um, Either would it be a support, a DP, or sorry, a carrier, or a semi-carry, or an initiation. You could pretty much shut down any hero. But you see now, a perfect shackle shot, waveforming in. Going to be, I think, uh, Alchemist is going to be able to take some serious blows. I don't think he's going to go down this round. Morphling, uh, all lag, there we go. And um, Warlock now on a dominating trick. Tullox getting a double kill. Is going to try to keep on uh, this Crystal Maiden, and I think Crystal Maiden is going to be going down. That is going to be the end for uh, Crystal Maiden, I think. Oh yeah, and we do see a monster kill, so that is a triple kill for Tux and Cranac now claiming uh, another kill. Alchemist also out there in the woods, and uh, they're just going to try to take down this lane as fast as they can. And look at this, Tux now looking at Ayasha, still going to almost 190 base damage, sorry, 180 base damage, and uh, that's pretty, 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 pretty insane. Now we do see uh, Alchemist following up with the stun Magi, and now they're going to be able to claim and there goes Kranik, in fact, claiming Hamza. So KKA, Hamza does in fact go down. And uh, this is just looking worse and worse for the... Uh, for the Sentinel. They, in fact, had a lead by 24 to 20. So that they were actually in good shape in the early metagame phase. Um, but then they just slowly, slowly and steady, they, they couldn't really... They didn't really farm that well. And then, of course, you got this insane Magina just ripping through... Pretty much anything, mana burning, whatever you got, and uh, that's not funny in any way. So, yeah, sucks. Hope that I'm going to be able to set up my frame rate because this is just ridiculous. We do see now, uh, pardon, taking some damage. We'll be heading on back. And yeah, just right now we do see Roshan, Roshan, not Russian, Roshan. Ah, we do see a monkey ping, monkey ping bar. No, monkey king bar getting picked up by the, uh, by the priest of the moon. We do see now a sacred relic going to be followed up by the alchemist. So he's going to be going for that. Oh, we do see. Ah, oh, why do I need to lag at these sort of moments, man? Ah, oh, damn. Shit. Cock. Bollocks. Yeah. Pretty much any type of swear word you can say, think of it right now and say it out loud because that's how I just felt. Yeah. Now Roshan, Roshan, uh, is now going to be claimed for the wars, claimed for the first time, and uh, that was a bit of a comeback for the uh, Sentinel team, which is good. They, they do need to get back in the game, but uh, as, of, as of now, I don't think they're going to be able to take down this, uh, where is it? Where is he? Tullux, Tullux, there he is. Oh, great, the lag, once again. Tullux, uh, looking at Battle Fury and, of course, the Vanguard and the Yasha. Doing almost 200 base damage, or 200 damage. He's not going to be able to, uh, and, of course, you got the Mana Burn on top of that, that's 64. Pretty insane. We do see now eventually just blink, or sorry, TPing out of there. Barely making, or not barely making it, but if you had a stun, that would be the end of it. Now, we do see also... Radius, Radiance getting finished on Alchemist, looking at a pipe and boots, so he is going for that standard, pretty much, uh, I wouldn't, well, you could possibly see p people go uh, Vanguard instead of uh, 
pipe and just go for the hood but uh, he decided to go for the pipe and not go for the uh, the uh, Vanguard. So yeah, you, you can often go for different frames but uh, you just need a tanky alchemist that can pretty much take uh, all the type of damage you need. We do see now a swap command here, Vengeful. Uh, does in fact follow up with the magic missile. We do need to see a stun from alchemist. There it goes. And uh, that mechanism is trying to keep Winner alive. Not going to be enough though. I think that's going to be the end for alchemist. There it goes. Alright, alchemist. Um, the uh, Windrunner. Now we do see a Sangi actually getting finished. Now remember, this is not an orb effect, so you can actually stack that with Magina. It's pretty insane. You get the Mayhem, mayhem effect still with the, uh, of course, mana uh, feedback. Uh, that's pretty insane. So you both slow and drain mana at the same time. That's or drain you 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 uh, destroy mana of your opponent um, equal to his health or the equal the equal amount of mana you uh, you destroy. Uh, that's the same in his health. So yeah. That's the equivalent of plus damage and, of course, burning mana. So we do see now, as you see, destroying the tower pretty darn fast. It was a low health, but not really anything sanity can do at, at this point in time. They can't. They don't really uh, wanna wanna try to uh, make anything happen right now. Our radiance is on, so this uh, replicate can, in fact, um, pretty much tank the wave. And where uh, there we go. We do have radiance now getting popped by the or by the uh, replicate. And, uh, yeah. Now, a lot of people don't really turn off their um, radiance when they uh, see a morph thing is in the area. So, you should turn off your radiance when he's uh, replicating your. Uh, replicating, sorry, you if you got the radiance. Uh, because that's going to stop the effect, of course. And not allow him to push as well as he could have if he had the effect. Now we do see a bit of action. Potom can leap out of there. Perfectly ultimate. Uh, Ogre Maggie and Clockwork taking the full blow. We do see now Mantis on top of the Morphling. Uh, it's going to take some of that Lich uh, ulti but not going to be enough. Trying to take some that There it goes. Lich is going to be out of there and I'm lagging a lot. Holy shit I'm lagging. Okay apparently guys I just... Okay there we're back. Wow. Now, uh, Warlock in a bit of trouble. He does, in fact, get his own, uh, his own stun. Mega Kill is now on uh, Warlock. And, um, Clockwork, wow. Very, very well played right there. Uh, due to the Scepter. And, uh, Morphling now. Also gonna go down. There it goes. Tolux now, godlike. And, uh, look at this. You can just go on into the base. Uh, don't really uh, care about that. Look at that double multicast, not really doing anything. And he's just going to blink out of there like nothing ever happened. Warlock now on a unstoppable streak. And of course Tullock's on a, on a godlike streak. So that's pretty good. Um, can't really blame him for being bad. Kranich now on a killing spree. And uh, look at this. They can just dive right into the base. No probs, man. No probs. Um, they're just going to jump out and pretty much push the tower until they, uh, until they win. So uh, yeah. I think that was pretty much a GG. I think, uh, but you guys, uh, we do see just a bit of a bit of a like last minute uh, defense going up here for the Sentinel team. But uh, the the amount of region you got on that Magina, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Look at this. He's just. <laughs> but me and Emin gonna be casting a fun game in a couple of seconds. Uh, I will be uh, talking to him, and hopefully we're gonna have ourselves a good game. Um, now a lot of fun things happened in this, we got a few kills, uh, we didn't lose, and uh, yeah, so right now just a bit of action going here, Morphling just trying to uh, prevent them from pushing in, but look at this, they could just drill them on, we do see Tullox now beyond godlike, and that is I think going to be the end for Sanity, 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 GG now coming from Sanity, and there we go guys, this is going to be me, the maker, logging out for this cast at least, hopefully I'm going to be able to um, to fix that delay or that spiking that we had. Um, but for now, you'll have to do with this cast. Yo, guys.